Hi everyone, it's Susan. I am going to be playing with some Distress Crayons today. They are something that I just, I don't use. I don't know why. I love the way they look, I love the colors, but they've just sat there. So today is the day I'm going to challenge myself to um, play and figure out how they work. And I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Okay, so I've got this um, watercolor paper and I've got this stencil. I thought I had an idea I wanted to try. Now, let's see, I've got quite a few circles. So I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna add a bit of color in here. And then I know I need water, but I don't think I wanna spray because I wanna control the water in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is use one of my brushes and just squeeze a little bit on there and then move it around. Does it seep under the edge? A little bit, it's okay. But I want more color. Let's see. Oops, I should have taped the paper down. It's moving. Well, learn as we go. Yeah, I like that. I want to try orange next. I really like pink and orange together. So let's do this one. Okay, so you don't want to add too much water because see how it's seeping underneath? This blue, this blue is so pretty. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to try doing this this time. I'm going to drop the water there and just pick up a little bit. Well, that seemed to work a little better. Yeah, not as much leakage underneath. All right, I think I got a plan. This color, I'm gonna try going over top with this one, see what happens. Oh, I like the two together. See how they blend? Can you see that? Like the two colors together? I like that. I'm leaving that. Let's try this one. I think the key to any new medium is don't be afraid of it. Just get in there and try different things. You never know. Some you're going to like, some you're not. But if you don't play with it, you won't find what works for you, right? You won't find what you like. I like getting the dark and the light. Like I don't like blending it all out. I like the, the contrast, light and dark. All right, let's see what we got. I like it. It's fun. Once it all dries, I think I might throw a little bit of splatter on there and then just a simple happy birthday sentiment. It's not perfect. You can see that things came out of the lines. But if I throw some splatters on there, that might help take away from that and make it look like it's supposed to be like that. And then a, yeah, simple happy birthday. I'm happy with that. Okay, so there's one background. All right, so now what I'm going to do is... 
I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm just going to do chunk of color. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my aqua brush, my water brush, and I'm just going to add a bit of water down the center. I don't know how much to add, and then I'm just going to blend it. Mix my finger or change my fingers because I'm not sure how they're going to mix together. Some will mix really well, like this this uh, reddish color and this yellow should make a nice color, and this might work make a nice purple. It's simple and easy to do. You can control how much, how much color, how much wetness you want. Yeah, I like that. And that is simple just like that. You can put a sentiment across the middle, put it on your card. That's done. Okay, so there's two. Now, the other one I want to try now is and I want to try to make a background, blend it all together, and then I'm going to remove the color. So let's go with some blue. Okay, and I've changed my mind. I like this, but I don't like it for the idea that I have. So I'm going to set that aside, bring this one in, and I want to stick with just, I think, these two. Nope, these two. This video is getting pretty long, so I've decided just to speed through some of the areas that you've seen me do already. So here I'm just adding the crayon, add some water, blend it all out. It's all stuff you've seen, so I'm just going to speed through it. Here I use a wet wipe to remove color from the paper and I love how it turned out. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but you can on the edge of where I'm using the dye, the, the crayon builds up and it gives it a nice darker edge to it. It's, it's pretty cool. Let's just try adding some white over top. Let's see. The white's not the best for over top, but it does add a little bit of dimension in there, which I like that. I'm going to try and see if I can do paint splattering with the crayon. So I take off a chunk, mix it with some water, get my paintbrush, and just do some paint splatters. It doesn't work as well as I had hoped, but I do like the finish that it gives. It's like a washed out white. And then I go back in after with some white paint and do the same thing. And I like the two together. I think they work great together. I 
I like the way the splatters looked on that card, so I did it to this one as well. But I also pulled out my black acrylic paint and did the black splatters, oh, black splatters as well. But with the black paint, I added a bit of water to it. So for this panel, I was really curious how um, the, the crayons would layer on top of each other. So I pulled out some stencils and colored on them. Some I colored on the stencil, added water. Some I mixed it on the side. So I did the same, uh, same way I did the first panel. I experimented with this as well. And it wasn't the easiest for me. I think I need more practice at it, but it was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy it. Here you can see me using a wet wipe to remove color again. I just ran it across the stencil and it worked uh, It worked well. It worked better on the darker colors. You could see it better than you can on the lighter colors. It's at this point too that I thought, oh, this one is garbage, but I didn't quit. I decided to keep at it, pull out some more stencils, do some more layering, and I even brought out just my acrylic paints and added color in that way too. And you know, this actually ended up being one of my favorite of the four. Um, so that's what I'm saying, like don't give up what you're doing, keep going at it, because you never know, It's it, it, it things can turn around to be something that you really love. I made sure to dry each layer of color that I added in between. I didn't want them to mix and end up looking like mud. I wanted to give the edges more of a old antique kind of looking fe uh, feel to it. So I took some dark brown crayon, mixed it with water and decided to do some ink smushing and just rub it around the edges. And it, it really worked. I liked the way that turned out. So there's my four panels. The circle one, I grabbed a star stencil, some white acrylic paint and a sponge and just added the stars that way, die cut a circle, um, added some craft foam and put it on a card base. The other three, I used a uh, stitched rectangle die and cut three panels um, there again to craft foam and put them on the card bases. The sentiments are very simple. The cheers is a word die, cut it with black cardstock, put it on top, and then the sentiment is just stamped with black ink. I used a stamp positioning tool to get good coverage. I did leave that last one blank because I don't know what I want to, what sentiment I want to put on there yet. So if you guys pull out your distress crayons and play along here, um, please share them on the Scrap and Stamp Facebook page. I'd love to see them. Just put hashtag distress, distress crayons and I'll find you. Have fun with it, you guys. Thanks for visiting.